on gamers it is joke over here in state 545 we are currently in the midst of a kill event um, we are up against state 531 and i realized that i should take this opportunity to make a video now i'm sure a a ton of you guys are aware of this however if you aren't let me walk you through this so thank you to dfl state 531 we actually had a lot of their um old players so prior to season three um there was a lot more people in 531 and a lot of them moved over here to this mass, mass migration with us in state 545 um so what we can assume is this state is pretty much family to us too and we'll always we'll always protect it kill event has been a little bit slow today however um just due to the lack of of people like i had mentioned uh, most came over to to uh 545 with us now i realized that um well first of all say thank you to dfl and thank you to lotus um thank you so much for helping me with points um i'm hoping that i can help your entire alliance with points as well now the reality is is it's scary guys it's so scary to unshield initially in kill event man you know, you're gonna get hit, and the reality of it is, is you're gonna you're gonna lose troops every week. You're gonna lose troops um, to higher bases, etc., etc., etc. Now, there are states who just want all-out war, and that's fine. You know, they can have their war. You better, but you better protect yourself as well, and you better know what you're doing. You better be quick, otherwise you'll get you probably get zeroed. You know, if you haven't gotten zeroed once, um, you're gonna get zeroed. Um, but the point of this video is to show you guys another alternate option, right? So, a more peaceful alternate option to attacking bases, however, let me say this, that's the fastest way to get your boxes, is to have one person unshield and the other person shield, and you can what, what we call exchange points. So right now, Lotus and I are exchanging points. He just sent his APCs out to these tiles right it's safe for him it's not safe for me but i trust this state if i get hit i get hit and that's the risk whoever is unshielded is probably going to get hit so it's really simple guys your your challenge your 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 you want to get your boxes it's challenging though you can't get your boxes maybe you're like me right now i've got my eighth box i don't want to get or i do want to get my ninth box but i haven't got it yet there's just not been a lot of people um, super active, right? So what we do is this. You obviously don't just go attacking, gathering troops. I'll say this. It's a war game. You do what you want. The point of the kill event is to, to kill troops. However, um, etiquette would have it to where it's not necessarily the nicest thing to do, right? So... When you're exchanging points, obviously, is what I'm saying is get permission. But in order to do this, you should learn this from an early on um, stage. What you need to do is you just need to gather, obviously have their permission, march, and you're good. And that's it. You're still going to get points for it, and you're going to be all fine and dandy. While the other person can stay shielded, right, you, you can stay exposed. And you can send your troops out. However, the cost of this. Whoops. Now, the cost of doing this is a little bit higher. If you were to attack a base. Now, let me find some unshielded base. I doubt I will. But you know, just in case. If, if you're trying to attack here. I'll actually do this. I'm not going to attack him. Um, if you're trying to attack somebody, right? You attack somebody. And it's going to look on the bottom right here. Where I'm tapping. The durability. The consumption is five, right? It's going to cost you five wrenches, five durability to attack somebody, right? Five durability. Now, on a tile, it's going to cost more. And I'll show you exactly how much it costs when he sends his troops back out. Let's see. So we're almost there, right? We have 225. We need one more round of this, and then we're going to help out the rest of people if they need points. It always helps when states are a little more diplomatic and, you know, when one person can stay shielded because they feel safe and the other person can stay unshielded. Maybe they're a little bit stronger and they don't have to worry about it. So we have, currently have an agreement that we're not going to attack anybody in the uh, launch center. However, Yvindo didn't get the message, right? 
It's okay. It happens sometimes. So the cost, as I was saying before, of hitting a tile is substantially greater than that of just attacking a base. You click gather, and you can see down here, same spot where I'm tapping. I don't have my pointer because it's kill event. I don't want to start touching things. I already do, but I don't want to mess, mess up. So it's going to cost 20 consumption. So four times the normal amount of consumption or wrenches, durability, that it's going to cost you is going to cost you to attack a tile. So if you're trying to attack tiles, it's just not going to work. So the best plan and the best thing you can do is to negotiate or to have an agreement with, with somebody so that you can attack them. They send their strong troops out, they stay shielded, and you're good to go. Otherwise, you're just wasting their ability. Now, let me just double check with him, make sure, see if he needs any points as well. All right, and we're back. So... I have done this, right? I need, oh gosh, I need 30 million more points. He sent his troops out again. I think I should be good with a couple more hits. Now here is the kicker, just what I was talking about right here. You're gonna lose durability fast, so I'm almost out. Let's send it one more round and let's see what happens. Maybe we'll be good. Trick is too, like what I'm doing right now, I'm technically defenseless. So you got to be careful with what APCs you are sending out, actually. Oops. So basically, there we have it. It took one to about three rounds of sending all four APCs out for me personally to get my boxes. However, he had T7 and he was um, losing because obviously t7 versus t9 t7s are going to lose now that being said that doesn't mean don't tile trade what that does mean is you're still going to get points just not a, not as much as to, you know winning if you read the clash of zones kill the enemies um scoreboard here you'll notice that it does say in the description, if you defeat a tier one, a tier 10 unit, you're gonna get eight points. And then it just goes ahead and describes all of the other ways you can get points, right? If you attack down here, if you attack an enemy base and lose one of your troops, you still get points. If you kill enemy troops, you still get points. If you defeat, well, basically the same thing. Oh, this is in New Eden. Oh, this is new. So check this out. Tonight, we can technically still get points for defeating units in Eden. Tonight, we still get points, and I didn't know that until tonight. This is actually our first kill event. So if we attack others and we lose, we still get points. That's the point I'm trying to make, guys. So don't be afraid to attack other bases, um, even if you do lose points, because you'll, um, even if you do lose troops, because you still will lose points. Now, we do have another gate right these guys this hdx clan is about to come after our gate my teleport is building right there i have one hour left and in that time hopefully they don't start it but if they do now that i know technically i can get points for defeating units in new eden well that's going to be a game changer in fact i don't think most of my alliance knows that but i'm going to go share it with them so short and sweet video kill event was a little bit slow i'm going to help um, Lotus and anybody else get into their uh, get to their boxes and then from there um, I'm gonna go ahead and head back into a new Eden and if the action happens tonight I will go ahead and record it obviously um, but no sense in waiting we don't want this video to be too long until until next time or tonight I'll talk to you guys later again shout out to DFL state 531 especially you Lotus and my good buddy where are we at here I'm supposed to give somebody else a shout out too. Dark, thank you. Dark side, Rendell, thank you guys. I told I told you guys I would make my uh, <laughs> entrance, my little surprise visit to you guys, and I'm gonna be here. So thank you very, 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 very much, and I'll see you guys in a little bit.